First of all, I didn't think he was coming back. I really didn't, because all my classmates, boys that went in, they were dying like flies. And when he left, I just I didn't think he'd ever I'd ever see him again. So I wanted to make sure that if nothing else um, happened, that he would know that I really loved him. Because I had up to this point, really, I hadn't really told him that I loved him. We'd been dating by this time, oh, almost for the stop shaky head, honey. It's okay, baby. But he was telling me he loved me. I knew. At, oh, you know, I honey? Knew. I knew because uh, you told me. I told you in letters. I didn't say it in my mouth. Girl is so forgetful. I, <laughs> I didn't say it out of my mouth until we got engaged. That's when I started saying because I realized then, well, I guess I better tell the boy I, I love him since we get ready to get married. So anyway. Yeah, um, all those, oh, hell. Oh, hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I used to I used to I used to read. I don't care what you said. I knew. <laughs> okay. I used to read a chapter of uh, Psalms and a chapter of Songs of Solomon or Song of Songs uh, every day while he was gone, and I wrote Hampton every single day that he was in Vietnam. Every single day. We and, started doing that before I got to be. Well, yeah, but not as yeah. not as consistently. When as we had when we had mail call, it was really something. The mail caller, the company clerk, would ask me to stand. He was on a on a on the steps of the uh, the back door of the steps of our um, our company headquarters, and we'd have roll call. I mean, uh, mail call, and he asked me to stand by him so he wouldn't have to call my name so much. And so um, when I uh, wrote him these love letters, um, I also I sent a photo uh, uh, with the letter. And many times, because we had um, tape recorders, I would also send a reel to reel. Back mm -hmm. in the old days, it came on a reel. The young folks don't know about that, but it's a reel. About, it was, I think it was three inches, three inch reel. Mm -hmm. um, and I would send that in an envelope also. Sometimes I would send my voice, or I'd go to his family. And have his grandparents or his dad, his sister brother. and brothers, yeah. they would uh, send a message also. And um, the love letters I sent were based on what I had been reading in Songs of Solomon. I don't know how many of y'all have read Songs of Solomon, but it's some steamy <laughs> stuff. Yes, now, sir. It, I, I um, had read something about Songs of Solomon a couple days ago in, um, in my... Um, um, What's the name? The, the um, devotion. In, the, in my devotions, mm -hmm. and uh, they were talking about how um, uh, some commentaries, uh, some uh, commentaries, would say that it was uh, a, 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 like an allegory that was uh, comparing God's uh, talking about God's love for the church and how He felt about the church, and then there were some people who were saying that um, there were. Sometimes in between the time it was written and when you you know in the, in the early um, the what the fifteen sixteen hundreds when they started translated into the New Testament, I'm sorry the uh, into different uh, translations said that there were some um, translators who wanted to skip over it completely because they didn't see any religious um, um, <laughs> birth to it because it was it was very very sexual. <clears throat> And so they didn't want to talk about it at all. And in fact, there was somebody, and I don't remember who this was, but this one guy said, he was a commentarist, and he said that unless, they're talking about to the men, because they didn't think about the women back then, it was talking about, said, it, um, if you are not in control 
of your vexations, you shouldn't read it. What I mean is if you if you can't control your, your hormones and they you know, or if you kinda um into your passions and stuff like that and you can't control yourself, that your sex drive, then you should not read Songs of Solomon. And um this one guy said he could read it because what he did was I don't know how to he castrated himself. So he would not <laughs> know so he wouldn't be subjected to the feelings that he told others they should not have when they read Songs of Solomon. That's a little extreme. Yes, That's I'm not castrating myself. That boy was crazy. <laughs> so, now I have read Songs of Solomon at least, uh, how many times does six go in the, go in the, um, at least five times. I've read it probably about 50 times because, um, with different chapters and stuff, because I was reading it, uh, it's only about six chapters in Songs of Solomon, so maybe eight. I don't remember it. Anyway, <laughs> how many it was, I would read, I was cycling them and reading them over and over and over again, picking out bits and pieces to send to him. And so he had all these great expectations when he came home. You didn't know that's where I got it from, did you? I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I did not care. Okay, what's up? I just wanted you to know I'm coming home. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my very first time I read an ex a sexually explicit book, I was about 10 years old. I read Mandingo. It was not my book. Um, my mom had it. And, you know, kids always going through stuff. So let me tell you something. Y'all got stuff you don't want your kids to see. You need to put it away. Okay, well, I read Mandingo. And I also read Son of Mandingo. Now, I don't know if that's because she had a son by Mandingo or whatever. Anyway, I read Mandingo. I didn't understand everything in it, but I understood enough. And then, um, two years later... And 19, about 1960, something like that, I read uh, Lady Chatterley's Lover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, ooh, that, I understood that one even better. But anyway, I read those. Those are two really first books that I had read that were very explicit. Fast forward now, I had not read anything like that because I was a really good girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was, anyhow. I hadn't read anything else like that until... I started reading Songs of Solomon. Solomon. Woo! Let me tell you something. Son of Mandingo and Mandingo and daughter of Mandingo and Lady Child, they ain't had nothing on Solomon. Y'all need to go and read Songs of Solomon. You really do. Because it really is something. Yes. It is. It it's is. very good. It, yes, it is. We had it on uh, one time. Somebody gave it to us for a wedding gift. On tape. No, an anniversary. What's wedding it? anniversary gift. Was it gift. on tape? It was on tape. Yeah. <laughs> and we used to drive... Take the long way home listening to that tape. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we was married already. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. Yes. <laughs> Girl, you'd been in trouble, boy. I know. Okay, but how about you would have been in trouble? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, like I said, some commentaries will say that it was an allegory talking about God's love for the church. But um, many commentaries have now, because of the, the openness that we are and realizing that um, sexual love is not taboo, that is not a sin between uh, married folks, um, that they are not now acknowledging that it's actually sexual love between an erotic, uh, sexual or erotic love between a man, man and, his wife. and his wife, or, yeah. uh, you know, a husband and wife. Mm -hmm. And so they say that. And so, um, yes. Like I said, I was. It was very good. And I was sending was excerpts of this to Hampton. Yes, bless his heart. Listen, <laughs> my my men's Bible study, they spent, and they meet on every Saturday morning. They read that chapter. It took two months for us to get, <laughs> to get through that chapter, <laughs> get through that book of the Bible. Okay. It, it, it was so fascinating. Were y'all in control of your vexation? Well, sure we were in control, but all of the comments that <laughs> that came along with it, you know, to uh, for our understanding. That would be it a was powerful um, it was Bible wonderful. study to have with, with, with the women's group, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, it, was, it was wonderful. The men and women, we got to look into that. Maybe this summer we could do that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe next Valentine's Day we could do a, a men's and women's Bible study together for uh, husbands and wives, the Songs of Solomon. Woo! It was very good. That was, ooh, that was a was, really big one. Was, yeah. Was good. I think I'd like to go it to that. Good. Why don't you take charge of that one? Um, anyway, <laughs> we were talking about uh, the songs that we fell in love to. And when, back in the day, um, like I said, Hampton was my first boyfriend, so I had no experience in how about courting and, 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 and kissing, you know, and all that, you know. You see, 
the difference is she she's a city girl and she reading books oh, oh. <laughs> i'm a country girl <laughs> Okay. And you watching the cows and the pigs and the and the, and the chickens, ain't you? I saw by example. You saw by example. I, I saw the example of love, of loving. Okay. Well, Eric, yeah. you listen to you. Anyway. Uh huh. So, um, anyhow, so him <laughs> used to come to visit every day um, during the summer because that's that's when we met in the summertime. Oh, yeah. And um, when we used to dance together. And and back in the in the we're talking about sixty four sixty five like that in the summers and it, the awesome awesome songs that came out that you yeah. could love by and I'm not talk, talking about making love by I'm talking about falling in love loving and being close and tender and all that you know without other stuff without the peripheral um, <laughs> what other stuff are you are you talking about the preliminaries. Is that what you you talking about? What's the opposite of preliminaries? Do what to do. Oh, <laughs> no, no. no. Okay. I understand what you're saying. Okay. Um, yeah. Some of the songs. It was, that, it was proper. It was proper. It yeah. Was. Well, it's, well we, also, we, it was learned, we learned yes. about each other. Yeah, we did. We learned about each other, and we fell in love, mm -hmm. and and I thank I thank I thank God for um, slow songs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I was, uh, we were trying to make a list of the songs that we we danced to, that we fell in love to, uh, with. Mm -hmm. And um, first, we start thinking about the artists who made them: Percy Sledge and Otis Redding. Um, who else? Uh, Gene Chandler. Gene Chandler. Yes. Um, who did? Uh, was that who did? Duke the Shirelles. Yeah, Duke of Earl. Duke yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And um, Shep and the Limelights. You're my baby, da 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 da. She be do. Yeah, da, da, da. Never mind. I can't sing. No. Okay, that wasn't it. Okay. Um, I'm talking about Daddy's Home, okay? I said Daddy's Home. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Daddy's Home. That, that's the song I was humming. That's what you were humming? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> songs and we play them I had a um uh, stereo and I would put it on with a stack of 45s and when it got to the last 45 it would you know it would stop so you turn the arm around you know not the, the arm with the needle in it but the top thing that was holding the stack down turn to the side and it would keep playing that last one over and over and over and it would just go up and come back and come down and that's what we would do. It didn't take too many times for it to go over and over again. Yeah, you you know. hear somebody say, hey, hey, didn't I hear that song? Just, I'm going to talk about <laughs> playing that song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was something. <laughs> so, it was something. So we had uh, per, um, Percy Sledge, When a Man Loves a Woman. Oh, and I've been loving you too long. Remember that? I've been loving you too long to stop turn now. Right now yeah. Was it turn right now? I've been loving, loving you too long. Too long. To stop now? To the turn by now? now? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then Otis Redding. Oh, these arms of mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You ready? They are your knees. <laughs> oh my God! I can feel my I can feel my chest mm -hmm. thump when you did that. <laughs> and um. Pain in my heart. Uh, and I, and uh, let me see what else. Oh, you see. Uh, now, those are some of the ones from back in the day. Uh, Daddy's Home. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to look at the ones that we... That we that when we get married, we'll have when we get a married, we'll have, have a celebration. celebration. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, that's back in the 60s. Now, after that, there were some other songs that we we, not, we did not stop dancing. We really did not stop dancing uh, until after you lost your arm. And we had we well, we still dance. Yeah, we don't dance as much. As we, we don't dance in public as much because we couldn't quite get our rhythm together. But we still slow dance. Yeah. But we just can't fast dance. You turn spinning around, say, "But who needs to fast dance when you can still slow dance?" You know. So uh, Luther, Van Dross, here and now. 
Uh, I'd rather have the one who holds, I'd rather have the one who holds my heart. I'd rather, anyway. That's what we sang at the um, Hamp and Chris's wedding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. uh-huh. Uh, that's something new. That's not. That's no, it's not new, but I, that, that's not. He's not does the, 60s. the same thing. Yeah, he's yeah, not the sixties. Yeah. Uh, Righteous Brothers Unchained Melody. We yeah. saw that the other day when Ghost was on TV, and they was they was making the clay. Yeah, remember? Yeah, that song. yeah woo, child. We never had no clay. Maybe we should have had some clay. <laughs> <laughs> making cups and sauces. Um, Anita Baker, Sweet Love. Yeah, yeah, Ming says some of James Brown songs. <laughs> Oh, really? I can't remember. Which ones of James Brown songs were real slow? I couldn't think of any. Did mm. you? I can't think. Uh, you know, I know he must have. Tell us what you were thinking about, Ming. Um, let's, oh, Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On. That's oh. new. That's all new stuff. Yeah, these aren't from the 60s, honey. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are, I'm, I'm done with the 60s. Etta James, yes, you're right, David. Oh, yeah, Etta James. How do you know about Etta James? <laughs> okay, Etta James, okay. Uh, Point Sisters, Slow Hand. I want a man with the easy touch, not go fast and slow and whatever. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. At last, Eddie James. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Barry White. Uh, Anything Barry White. Right <laughs> That's gonna get you in the mood, uh, boy. It's ecstasy when you lay down with me. Woo! Yeah. I'm so glad we had that song when we was dating. Oh, that was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yes. Wow. Stop singing, honey. Don't please don't sing in my ear. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, t- oh, Teddy. Teddy Pendergrass. OMG. Yes. Turn I out got the- what you looking for. Oh, I didn't even put that one in here. I got turn out the lights. Turn out the lights. Yes. Mm-hmm. Get the get the hot oil mm-hmm. and rub it all over yourself. Is that in there? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, Roberta Flack. The first time ever oh, I, I saw, saw your, your face. face. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. Oh, and this song right here. Oh. Remember this song? Sigh. Yeah. I don't, let me it's tell you. Just by, it's just an orchestra. No, no words. No words. They don't need no words. No, no. It's, just, by, it's by P-R, it's by P-R-A-F-U-L. The song is S-I-G-H. Sigh. Sigh. And it's a, it's a musical. It's a jazz song. Oh, my goodness. Vi- I think it's violins. No, no, honey. It's a it's a it's a horn. It's a like a clarinet or a saxophone, something like that. Oh, it's in that too. It's oh, it's so yes. sexy. Okay. O M G, S I G H. Yes, you need girls. Well, oh, that's next week. I'll tell you next week. Next week I have my my list from a from a girl. Is it next week? Yeah, because I got to make sure. You want to do it before thanks before Valentine's Day? Well, we the last the last series is mm-hmm. on the ninth. Valentine's Day is on the fourteenth, mm-hmm. so I can still do it the ninth. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I think yeah. Okay. Um, but Psy is, ooh, yeah, Psy is really, really good, yeah. Um, the Dells, Stay in My Corner. Stay in My Corner. And what's that song that tells you to, to stay, don't go? Stay. Please stay. Stay is what it's called. Stay. Is this one Stay in My Corner? Stay. Stay. There's one called Stay. Is it a different stay? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I have to look it up for stay you. Stay in My Corner. But I don't... But it was one day it was just telling you telling you to stay, don't leave, just 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 stay. I love you. Stay. Stay. Yeah. yeah. I love um, you. Stay in my arms. Da, 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 da. Stay. Is that the same one? That's not stay in my corner, is it? Stay in my corner. I'm I don't know. Okay. Oh then we call this one the the crying song. The oh, yeah. The Megan song by Lenny Williams. David, David was already talking about it. Lenny Williams. Yeah, Lenny Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lenny, we call that the Megan song. Man, let me tell you, I'm, I'm glad you didn't know that song. Because, Matt, that is the best. You've been giving all up for the Megan song. <laughs> <laughs> we call the best. I love you. Um, Lenny Williams. Um, Marvin Gaye, You're All I Need to Get By. That was 1968. Mm-hmm. Um the stylistics, you make me feel, you make me feel brand new, da ding da ding Yeah, mm-hmm, yes. So, yeah. So, I can't think of any others. I know there are many more. And uh, Gladys Knight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gladys Knight. And, and, if, and, if, and, I were your, if I were your oh, woman. Oh, if I were your woman. Ooh, mm-mm-mm. Now, see, we're not telling that one to the, to the, the married folks because they got their woman. And, you know. We're, so we don't sing that song to nobody, because if I were, if I were your woman, that means that 
okay, it could be that if I was you. No, because she says she treats you like um whatever. Yeah, talking about you know, yeah. Like so she's talking about stuff. She's the other woman. She is she's the cleanup woman. woman. Yeah. That's the cleanup woman singing that song. Yeah, we don't want to talk about her. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Although, you can do role play and be the cleanup woman. <laughs> yes, yes. Making weak as a little man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Now, anyway... Those, those are the songs, and I know you, that there's a song that comes on and it makes you think about each other when you hear that song. Play that song, yep. you know. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Maze. Yes, it makes yeah, some good music for Yeah, make, make that, yeah. yeah. And just sometimes it's cuddling songs, oh, and sometimes Please, 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 like by James Brown. Oh, yes, it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, thanks, Beverly. <laughs> please, 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 please. Baby, please, please, please don't please. go. Please. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. That yeah. was it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. All these songs. So it it, it didn't take a whole lot to, to fall in love, you know, with the songs the way they were back in the day. Nowadays, it, it they don't leave anything to the imagination. You know? At least we had we could use your imagination. Is that really what he meant when he said that? Now there's no way, you know. and you know, we didn't have, and the videos we didn't have those videos like they got now. Oh, my goodness. Well, anyway, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I, I <laughs> or, um, James Brown on one knee. Yes. Remember the time you played James Brown? We went to a... Uh, um, we were at a, a, cha uh, a, rally, a rally. A rally. And, and, no, uh, I didn't play James. Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. Yeah. yeah. You played James Brown and yeah. uh, threw it had a... Be in, it had to be in Virginia. Yeah. And, and, and weekend. Yes, it was. And and you, you were James Brown... And uh, we did that twice. One did time, twice, cause Ken was James Brown. Yeah. At the the other thing in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And the other time it was you. Mm -hmm. And then I, remember I, I came in from the side. I forgot. We played. We had a skit, and he played James Brown, and I I played an admirer. And came in and and you know just hey just swoon. Okay. Well, you have any other songs, honey? Can you think of anything? Mm -hmm. Well, my recommendation is that you get your sweetie pie. Not tonight, cause it's kind of late right now. It, let me tell you something. You was, if you, <laughs> it's nine o'clock. We used to, we used to. What is it? Nine thirty. Yeah, but see, if they hadn't started working on this when he came home from work, he ain't uh -huh. getting none tonight. That, that's the other tip. You know, when you come home from work, if you want to do a slow dance, you know what I'm saying. Slow dance. When you when you get home, guys. That's right. That's when, when you it starts. Get home, that's when it you starts. Cook, you, if she's not there, you cook the dinner. Okay? Yes. But if you can't cook. Go out and get it somewhere. That's right. <laughs> and have it on the table when she get home. That's right. Or, or run the tub. If she's, if she's already cooked dinner, you do the dishes. There you go. That's right. You tell it. Relax, right. baby. Mm -hmm. I got this. That's it. That's it. it. Absolutely. Because yes. you are, you know, by lunchtime, guys, that you want to slow dance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you always want to slow dance. So you already know. So get, guys, get yourself together. Get the act together. Yes. Okay, we're going to have more grown folks stuff, tips and tricks next week. Wait, what, what's this supposed to be next week? I have no idea. I have. I wrote it down. Okay. Next week, we're going to be talking about leave the door open. Oh. Yes. Leave the door open. Yes. Leave the door. Who was saying that? Bruno, Bruno Mars. Mars. Yeah. Go Listen to that record. Leave the door open. That's next week. We're going to be talking about leaving the door open. Yes. I, I mm, can't think of anything look, else. Look at baby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And again, I'm thank you guys for hanging in there with us. And we, we you know, we had technical difficulties every now and then. I don't, hey, I had, to, I had, to, I had my headphone because I was listening was to something it. earlier. That was, it. That was And it. I had my headphone plugged in. Yeah. I want to thank you for joining us yes, tonight. Yes, yes. It was a lot of fun just reminiscing. Oh, just no, 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 no. That's the one that, that the one baby meet with the black drawers on. Oh that, yes, <laughs> that's really an old song. He thought that was a joke that Audrey kept telling us about this song. Yeah, and I said I ain't heard no song like that. There, there was what's that WPFW or something? Yeah, like that yes, yes. That plays that kind of yes. stuff. Yes, yeah. And and we, we have found out in our traveling that there are songs that um we, we that you hear, hear down south 
on the black radio stations that you never hear no, of yonder. No. And when we went there, like that one. <laughs> and that was one of them. And we could, I could not believe some of the songs. I mean, they just come right out and say Yeah, it. like, like uh, yeah. One, another one that makes me think about that, Footprints on the Ceiling. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah. It was being a shack. You got footprints on the ceiling. Oh man! Oh, Della Reese made that song. What? Meet me with your black drawers on. I did not know that. I didn't either. Della Reese. Yeah. Great. Wow. So thank you guys for coming and being with us today, and we'll see you next week. Make sure you leave the door open. Take care. Love, Love you guys. guys. Thank Bye -bye. you. One more time again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.